Uh, I would say that when some people would ask me to appraise the dot, that I can uh, uh, report that this was one man that three former presidents uh, talked about uh, among each other and all agreed upon to a man. Uh, we had a long plane flight from Washington to Cairo over 10 hours. It was all night long. Uh, we didn't have any bunks in the plane, so we talked all night except for getting a few snatches of sleep from time to time. Was it the first time the three presidents, Ford, Carter, and Nixon, had been together? I, it was the four, first time, not really the first time, no. Uh, it was the first time that Ford, Carter, Nixon, and Reagan had been together, but the first time we were together was at Humphrey's funeral. We were there, although we'd never had any talks then. This is the first time we'd ever had a talk. So all night long we talked about Sadat and the Mideast and what he meant. We agreed that he was one of the most intelligent men we'd ever met. We had agreed that he was one of the boldest uh, and most courageous men. And we agreed, too, that he had shown great vision, a vision in looking over the problems of the moment and looking to the future, in making his trip to Jerusalem and agreeing to what he did to at Camp David. But I knew him in another respect that the other two did not know him. And uh, I told them this in the plane, and I thought they were quite moved by it. Uh, that was not the first time I'd gone to a funeral in Cairo. It was only about a year before that I'd gone to the Shah's funeral, which was in Cairo. And uh, when I was there, uh, I was the only dignitary of any rank who came to the Shah's funeral, because here the Shah, who before everybody was bowing and scraping before him, the heads of state and government and so forth, because he was rich and powerful and so forth, and now they all avoided him because he was out of power. Uh, and I never forgot that as I was standing there uh, in the big tent where all the VIPs, usually ambassadorial level, not head of state level, were standing, uh, Sadat came walking in, resplendent in his uh, uh, uniform, general's uniform. He saw me, and his eyes lit up, and he walked over, held both hands out, and he said, how good of you to come, how good of you to come. And I said, Mr. President, it was very courageous of you to receive the Shah after virtually every other country did not grant him sanctuary. And he said, courageous, sir? It isn't courageous to stand up for a friend. And that loyalty went further than that even. I remember I had a long talk with him after the funeral up at Alexandria, uh, that is the Summer Palace. And, uh, we were talking far into the night, and when we were talking about what had happened at Camp David and so forth, uh, he referred to his friend, Jimmy Carter. Now, let's understand when this was. This was at a time uh, before the elections in 1980 when Carter's stock was very, very low, when it appeared that Reagan was going to win, and when he knew I was for Reagan, because I told him so, and told him that I thought Reagan would be very reasonable toward him despite the fact that he was a little concerned that Reagan seemed to be totally pro-Israel, as he had in some of his statements. But he refused the opportunity to do what most politicians to do, to say what he thought I might want to hear, uh, that Carter was not all that good. He said, my friend, Jimmy Carter. Now that's Sadat, that's quite a man. 